Is it the right time to buy or sell SPY ETF? In this video, we will delve deep into SPY. Our initial report was published on our website on Wednesday, January 17, 2024. And now, we are here to provide you with an even more comprehensive analysis. Make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. Keeping track of crucial updates that could impact your investments is essential. Improve your trading decisions by trying out our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Harness the power of artificial intelligence and receive free price predictions and in-depth analysis for any of the 25,000 companies worldwide. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. As of November 2, 2023, our system has identified SPY as a buy candidate, with a score of 2.80. Now, let's dive into how the stock has performed during this period. During this time, the stock has experienced a gain of 9.66%. This means that, on average, it has delivered a daily return of 0.19% since being identified as a buy candidate. The ETF is currently in a strong upward trend, indicating the potential for further growth. Based on the three-month trend, there is a projected 15.01% change over the next three months, with a potential return between 13.77% and 19.14%. Looking ahead to the next 12 months, the trend suggests a 16.49% change, with a potential return between 4.92% and 18.38%. This translates to a price range of $495.50 to $559.10 in a year. Our latest update for SPY brings you the headline, Red Day on Wednesday for SPY. On Wednesday, January 17, 2024, the price of the SPY ETF fell by 0.556%, going from $474.92 to $472.28. Throughout the trading day, the ETF experienced a fluctuation of 0.620%, reaching a low of $469.88 and a high of $472.79. Over the past 10 days, the price has fallen in six instances, resulting in a decrease of 0.08% for that period. It's worth noting that the volume of shares traded also decreased on the last day, which is generally considered a positive sign as volume tends to follow the ETF's movement. Specifically, Trading volume decreased by 13 million shares, with a total of 62 million shares bought and sold, amounting to approximately $29.52 billion. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price recorded for the ETF was $478.60, while the lowest price was $380.65. Currently, the price sits 1.32% below its 52-week high, equivalent to a difference of $6.32. Furthermore, the price is 1.6% below its all-time high achieved on January 4, 2022, when it reached $479.98. The SPY ETF, Exchange Traded Fund, has some interesting signals worth noting. There is a sell signal from the short-term moving average, but on the other hand, a buy signal from the long-term average. Since the short-term average is above the long-term average, it indicates a general buy signal for the ETF, giving a positive forecast for the stock. If the ETF continues to rise, it may face resistance around $475.02 from the short-term moving average. Conversely, if it falls, it may find support around $467.74 from the long-term average. Breaking through the short-term average would trigger a buy signal, while breaking through the long-term average would trigger a sell signal. It's important to consider some negative signals that have been issued as well, as they may influence the near short-term development. A sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Thursday, December 28, 2023, resulting in a minus 0.93% decrease so far. Further decline is expected until a new bottom pivot is found. Additionally, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. The volume of trading fell together with the price during the last trading day, reducing the overall risk as volume usually follows price movements. On Monday, March 27, 2023, the ETF had a golden star signal in the long-term chart. 
This rare combination occurs when the short-term moving average, long-term moving average, and price line meet in a special way. It often precedes significant and sustained gains for the ETF in question. Today, I want to share with you some interesting signals to consider in your trading strategy. Let's start with the moving average convergence divergence, which is currently giving a sell signal. Another indicator to look at is the pivots, which gave a sell signal 13 days ago. On the other hand, the Bollinger indicator provided a buy signal 19 days ago. The short-term moving average also gave a sell signal 2 days ago. However, the long-term moving average gave a buy signal 52 days ago. It's worth noting that the relationship between the short and long moving averages indicated a buy signal 49 days ago. Now, let's take a look at the 12-month chart to get a broader perspective. The short moving average on the 12-month chart also gave a sell signal 2 days ago. However, the long-term moving average provided a buy signal 46 days ago. Similarly, the relationship between the short and long moving averages indicated a buy signal 35 days ago. If you want to explore more signals, be sure to visit our page at stockinvest.us. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for SPY The SPY ETF has found support from accumulated volume at $469.33. This level presents a potential buying opportunity as we can anticipate an upward reaction when the support is tested. Overall, the SPY ETF tends to show controlled movements and offers good liquidity, resulting in a low level of risk for investors. In fact, the stock's risk is considered to be very low. On the previous trading day, the ETF experienced a price range of $2.92, or 0.620%. Over the past week, the average daily volatility of the ETF has been 0.81%. Today, we'll be discussing potential day trading levels for SPY. If SPY continues its upward trend, the first resistance level to watch out for is at $472.65. If you're not holding any shares, it might be wise to wait for this level to be surpassed before entering a position. However, if you're already holding the stock, this could be a level worth considering for swing trading. On the other hand, if SPY starts to decline, it will encounter its first support level at $469.33. If this support level holds, it could present a good entry point, with the potential for a rebound. Our recommended stop loss for this ETF is set at $452.12, which represents a decrease of 4.27%. This ETF demonstrates low daily movements, resulting in lower risk for investors. Additionally, we have identified a sell signal from a pivot top that occurred 12 days ago. Is SPY ETF a good buy? Based on our analysis, there are several short-term signals indicating a positive trend for SPY ETF. This suggests that there could be a buying opportunity at the current level. However, it's important to note that our systems have found that the current price is overvalued, considering the volatility and movements from the last trading day. Looking ahead to Thursday, January 18th, we anticipate that SPY will open down $0.632 and begin trading at $471.65. Before we begin, it's important to remember that trading comes with a high risk of losing money. We strongly advise you to consult a financial advisor before making any buying or selling decisions regarding securities. Please note that StockInvest.us should not be the sole basis for your investment choices. By utilizing the information provided, you acknowledge and accept full responsibility for your own investment decisions. Welcome back to StockInvest. Today, we're taking a look at the current view of the stock. We want to hear your thoughts, so don't forget to comment below and share your opinion. And of course, remember to like and subscribe to stay updated with our latest content. Now, let's dive into the details and discuss the target for the ETF. Are you ready? Let's get started.